friends, welcome back to Discovery at Library. Guess where I just came from? I just came from a leaf hunt. I went out in my local neighborhood and collected some leaves that will be perfect for this project. So I suggest that you go out in your local neighborhood or local park with a guardian and collect some leaves. Let me show you the leaves that I got today. So I got this leaf here and this leaf, it's almost the size of my head. That's crazy. And then I also got this leaf. I mean, that's a huge leaf. It's literally almost bigger than my head. And all the leaves are falling off the trees right now, so there's plenty of leaves to go around. So I suggest you find some leaves around your neighborhood to use for this project. So you'll need leaves, and you'll also need a piece of paper, some markers or crayons to color with, a glue stick, or you can also use the liquid glue. And then I also have some tape here just in case my glue does not hold up. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is grab a few leaves that you like the most from the ones that you collected that you wanna draw with. So I collected uh, these ones, these are the ones I selected out. And so the first thing that you wanna do is adhere them to the page. But let's find out what direction we want to adhere these. So do I want it like this, or maybe like this? Or since I'm adding three to my page, maybe I wanna kinda of spread them out so they kinda of have a good distance between them. So I think I wanna put this one here, cause I kinda of want, I just kinda of want it to sit at an angle. And then for this one, I'm thinking maybe horizontal like this. And then for this one, I'm thinking maybe the same thing. I kind of like this. Actually, I'll let me put mine at an angle here. Okay, so we know where we want our leaves to be attached. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put some glue on the back of this one. So now that we have our leaves all attached, now we have to figure out what our leaves are. Like, what could they be? So. I'm looking at this one first and I'm kind of thinking it could be maybe a wing for a butterfly or a wing for a bird. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw around my leaf and make it what I think it could be. So I'm thinking this could be a bird. So I'm going to draw the head of my bird here and a beak. wing there, tail, and then some feet coming out here. It's a really big wing there, so I'm going to add a little bit more to the body of my bird. Alright, feathers and then a little eye. So there's the wing of my bird. And then let's see, this Looks almost like a tail to me. Maybe a tail for a cat. Maybe. So let's go ahead and draw the body of her cat. Draw a little. Let's see. I'm going to draw my cat kind of laying down, taking a nap. eyes here. Oh, I meant to draw it sleeping, but it's fine. Maybe the cat is waking up from its nap. And there's the long tail for my cat. I'm going to draw a few stripes. Okay, there's my kitty. And then I'm going to take another marker because try another color out. I'm thinking, let's see, this leaf up here, I'm thinking this is some crazy hair for a person. So let's go ahead and draw a head for this person. Just kind of a circular shape here. Kind of like a person who just got out of bed or something. The hair is kind of crazy. I'm gonna draw an eye here. <laughs> I'm gonna do an eye right here, kind of like the hair is covering the eye. And a smiley face. Alright, so I made my leaves into three different things. 
All right, so let's see the finished product. Okay, so we went out, we collected our leaves, and we used our imagination to transform these leaves into something else. So let's see my finished product. So for the first one, I did a bird. This leaf just looked like a wing to me, so I drew the bird's body around the leaf. And then for this one, this just looked like hair on a person. So I just drew some crazy, just this crazy hair for this leaf on this cute little person here. And then last but not least, we have my kitty cat kind of waking up from a nap and it has a huge long tail there. So I suggest you all try this out yourselves. Go ahead and go out in your neighborhood with a guardian or even to your local park and collect some leaves for this and use your imagination to make these leaves into something else. And I also suggest maybe tearing the leaves and not, you don't have to use the exact shape of the leaf. You can kind of tear it and see what you come up with. So thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye.